On the, the migration question, of course, we in Europe are under great pressure, as we all know, uh, as to what we're going to do about the fact that, that we don't produce enough children to, to uh, maintain our way of life, but that the uh, immigrants that come in uh, don't respect that way of life anyway. So, you know, are we going to just say we're going to relinquish it uh, and let another way of life take over? Uh, and um, my view is that, that uh, uh, intellectuals can easily say yes. Uh, because they'll, they'll go on existing in their universities, enjoying their state-sponsored salaries, uh, and, um, uh, and congratulating themselves on their compassionate way of life. Uh, which, um, but uh, ordinary people cannot say yes. You cannot say yes to, uh, to uh, relinquishing the, the home and the community and the way, of, the way of dealing with things, which ordinary people depend upon if they're going to have children and... Uh, and <coughs> live the sort of life that, that uh, they themselves were brought up to expect. So they will always resist. Uh, and um, the, the true responsibility of the state, it seems to me, is to ensure that, that um, the nation, in whatever form, is continuous from one generation <coughs> to the next. That, that actually, that the, the sense of belonging that, that one generation has is passed on to the next and that, that, that immigrants who come in are disciplined into accepting this and, and joining it and then joining in the passing on process. If you, uh, on, on the other hand, simply allow immigrant communities to form their own uh, kind of oikophilia as a separate organism within the, within the nation state, great. eventually you'll end up with the situation of the old um, Yugoslavia or the old and Balkan states, uh, which will be uh, one on the verge of the, the collapse into civil war at any time. So, uh, so you, uh, you know, the conservative approach to, as I understand it, to immigration is to try and prevent that happening, to, uh, to ensure that there is an integration into a continuing, continuously developing national idea. <coughs> but, but that can, uh, that can only, that is only possible if you control immigration. Well, uh, most think um, the welfare state has the large responsibility in uh, preventing migration integration of immigrants? Yes, uh, the welfare state makes it possible to live in an unintegrated way because uh, it, it subsidizes living apart. It, it, uh, it, it, in the old, I mean, I know this is a very difficult topic to talk about because um, there's so much censorship, you know, um, as you, I'm sure, are aware, uh, that if you say the wrong things or things that are judged to be wrong by people on the left, then uh, you know, you're dismissed as racist, fascist, all the usual stuff. Uh, I guess people are pretty bored with that now and recognize how stupid it is. But if you look at the history of this, the old American uh, experience of in immigration was a very good example. To get to America, <coughs> you had to make incredible sacrifices. You had to sell everything, get onto one of those ships with your family and all the rest, land in New, in New York where you were given a hard time by the immigration people. Eventually you get across onto the dry land and the first thing you do is work. And then you want, you know, and uh, and then you try to belong to the thing around you, uh, and you take an interest in it, and you try to speak English even to your own children, etc. Uh, uh, and the result is integration. You know, people, only the best people <coughs> manage to get there. You know, after all these hardships, anyway. Uh, and when, once there, they worked to integrate uh, and to, to to be part of what they found. Not always, of course. The Sicilians did not. They came. Uh, you know, with, a, with their own mafia-like connections uh, and lived apart for an awful long time. But even they eventually integrated. Um, but uh, with the welfare state, things change. It, it becomes easy to immigrate, uh, to, to, to come in, uh, and you get subsidized as soon as you're there, even if you've got no job. 
So, um, and, and if you're coming from a place which has not got a welfare system, there's, you're, essentially you're, this is always going to be an, uh, an economic advantage to you. So you get a completely different kind of immigrant, not one who wants to play a part in the, in the community, but one who wants to take advantage of it. And I, I guess that's where all the difficulties arise, especially in this part of the world. <coughs> 